my goodness. After a 600-mile journey, yeah. Michelle is anxious to get her eyes on two orphan bear cubs. What I really want to check first is to make sure they look good. Basically, I mean, it's a stressful trip for them. Um, you know, get an idea of their color. Oh, Hello. boy. Hi, Hi, baby girl. Hi, baby girl. Yeah, you're going to get out really what a quick. Good girl. They look great. They're really energetic. They're kind of moving around their crate. It all gets easier now. As quick as we can now get them to Fortress the Bear and get them out of their crates, then I can get an even better look, and they can start to settle in. Fantastic. Let's load them. They really have had a tough start. They've had to be you know, caught, put in at the Alaska Zoo, you know, moved to the clinic to be spayed, moved back, now moved here in a plane. But the end is in sight now. Now for the final leg of their journey. OK, babies. Off to your new house sisters and best friends, just like you guys. Aww. <laughs> it's really lucky they were able to come to Fortress of the Bear. They're going to have huge enclosures, tons of enrichment. It's all right, we're here. Both with training and interacting with other bears, and with the opportunity to chase salmon and do a lot of normal bear behaviors. But first, the cubs will spend a few weeks monitored in quarantine. Nice. Nice little space yeah. for their oh, quarantine. Perfect. We have yeah. the option to open this up, so, oh, so they've they got little go outdoor clean. space. We can shift them out to clean. Nice. And how long's our quarantine? 30, 30 days. 30 days, yeah. perfect. 30 days, yeah. and then we'll be building them a new space during that time, and then Good. they'll have access to the big paddock. Too. Right, right. When you transport animals, they can be stressed, and that's when diseases can break. So it's really important that they're in a spot where we can easily get our hands on them if we had to and watch them for any signs of illness. No. All right, ladies. Okay. All right. Hey, lovey. The crates are in place. Now comes the moment of truth to see how the cubs accept their new home. Take the box nice. with the keys. Now we bump everybody out and let them come out at their own pace. Good baby. One cub's out exploring. One was out first and then moving around. And as soon as that one disappeared, the other one whipped around like, where did you go? Oh, they're both out now. You can see they really depend on each other, and that's good. They can go through it together. So that's the one we just spayed yesterday. Yeah. She looks great. Of course, they're nervous. Of course, they're a little stressed. But they're relaxed enough to eat. They didn't get any meal service on their flight. <laughs> so this is a great start. I'm excited to come back next time, actually, and see them running around in this huge enclosure. It's got a pond. It's got things for them to climb on. There's salmon in the stream that they can chase, so you know, it's, it's tough to see them go through a lot of these steps. 15 minutes and they'll be in hand fed already. You never have to worry about food ever again. Now it's up to us to keep this, to keep this going. Yep. You guys will do great. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank All right, job, thanks. Okay. Good luck with everything, oh, guys. Thank you. We'll All keep right. you posted. All right, girls, welcome home. <laughs>